We have been closely watching a tropical wave in the Gulf of Mexico and nothing really new to report. Still looking like a very high likelihood that we will see further development. And regardless of that means a depression or a storm, the impacts of Louisiana still look to be the same. Here's what's happening right now on satellite. This is the center of the invest, and I use that loosely because there really is no center just yet, but we are starting to see the lower clouds. We're starting to see a little bit more of a broad circulation, not necessarily a tightly uh, wound circulation. In other words, a uh, quickly developing storm, which the hurricane hunters, it doesn't appear as though that they found. You're also starting to see some of the higher clouds kind of fanning out. So it does look like the environment is getting a little bit better for development. And that was expected. The computer models have been indicating Thursday and into Friday before reaching the coast of Texas, we would likely see additional development of this wave. Now, again, regardless of it becoming a storm or depression, the impact to us have not changed. Now look at this. One of the buoys is very near that center and it only has winds of 11 miles an hour. The wind direction is definitely there, but wind speeds are not quite up. As a matter of fact, I believe the hurricane hunters only found winds of about 25 miles an hour in some of the outlying thunderstorms. Upper low, which had been providing for some pretty decent wind shear and keeping this as a weaker storm is beginning to pull away. So the environment is becoming a little bit better for further development. And as I mentioned, that is not a surprise. And so far, these are the kind of tropical systems we like to see. One, that's not a threat to us. And two, that has been fairly well forecasted. And so far, this has been, again, no major thinking. Any kind of circulation is going to be moving toward the Texas coast. For us, it's going to be leading to quite a bit of rainfall in both the Euro and the GFS, certainly not indicating a very strong system, but certainly the possibility of maybe this becoming Tropical Storm Hannah. The steering still looks like everything is working out. High pressure is building in toward the more north central or excuse me, central United States north of us, and that's going to keep the storm system or center moving generally due west, never making any kind of a turn up toward Louisiana. And you really can't get any more uh, agreement in the computer models than this when most of them have it taking kind of toward the Corpus Christi or between the Corpus Christi and Houston area of the Texas coast. For us, though, rainfall is going to be an issue Thursday, a marginal risk of flooding rains, a marginal risk again on Friday. The greater rainfall totals will likely be more down toward the coast where we could see two to four inches around the metro area, one to two and a half inches and about a half inch to an inch or maybe a little bit more on the North Shore. So if we are going to see any real substantial flooding type rains, a better bet is going to be down along the coastline. But if we see any kind of band setting up over the city, that possibility will be there or really on either side of the lake. Also, with that persistent easterly wind, we may see some minor coastal flooding in areas outside of the levee system. And I also want to all quickly touch on Tropical Storm Gonzalo. It was upgraded to a tropical storm today, will likely be a hurricane as it is a very small storm tomorrow. These small storms tend to rapidly intensify. Models are still hinting at this weakening once it gets into the Caribbean, but we have a whole lot of time to watch it. Right now outside here, just to look at our forecast real quick. 91 degrees with a dew point of 74, making it feel like the triple digits. 80s and 90s generally across the area all day today as we did have a few scattered showers, although we were able to get up to 94 degrees. Some thunderstorms moving away from Tangible Hope Parish. We've had a few little light showers kind of popping up across parts of the metro area, but for the most part, rainfall will be winding down as we go through the evening and night. Rain chances on the higher side for Thursday and Friday. That will help to keep our temperatures down and not exactly a dry stretch, but at least a little bit drier as we head into Sunday and next week. All right, Chris, thank you.